Hi, I'm Steve Brown. I'm Special Needs Coordinator here at uh, Council of Academy. And I just want to share a little bit of information with you about SCN at Council of and how we support students with additional needs. So the first thing we do uh, in preparation for the arrival of our new student to share information. Send codes at the primary school, uh, fill in a form for me uh, with information about needs and any strategies that might help them. And, and I share that with all the teachers. In addition, I have meetings with the Senkos from the primary school and we talk about the students. So I've got a bit of an overview of what to expect and what we need to do to support them uh, upon their arrival here at Counterstorp. So in preparation for the students arriving, we'll make sure that by the teacher days at the end of August, uh, all the information is available for staff so they can look at their class lists and they can identify which students have got additional needs and what sort of reasonable adjustments they need to make for those students. Uh, in addition to that, I usually do a presentation to the teaching staff to make sure they know where that information is. And, and also I might mention any high profile students or students I think they particularly need to be aware of uh, so that again, we can make sure that those students have a good start to the year and everybody's aware of their particular difficulties. It's really important that uh, teachers make reasonable adjustments for students. The majority of the time, students are going to be in lessons, mainstream lessons, with teaching staff. And so, uh, teaching staff's understanding and knowledge of the best ways to teach students with differing abilities is super important. At Council, we have a real ethos about improving ourselves, about learning how to teach in different styles and different methodologies. Um, I've put together a booklet for staff where I've sort of highlighted the different sorts of special educational needs and uh, I've identified the straightforward things that staff can do really to make life easier for those students and help them to access the work. And I think that's really important. The onus is on the teaching staff uh, to make the best kind of differentiation Help them access the work. So we have a team of teaching assistants and learning support assistants around the school. Um, they'll be in lesson supporting students, shared support on the whole, so they'll try and help everybody in the class. But particularly they'll know the students on the SEN register uh, who've got particular needs and, and who they particularly need to target. Um, it's not like primary school in that there will, there will be support in every lesson, there's not going to be support attached to every teacher. Uh, students do need to learn to become independent learners and as I said before, the teaching staff need to help differentiate for those students. But the teaching assistants are there to support, uh, they will be around the school, they'll support in lots of different ways. We have a homework club on a Tuesday and Thursday after school, so in normal times, pre-COVID times, they're always there for an hour after school, help people access, show my homework, see what homework they've got, help them to do that homework. Uh, and, and generally, the, the teaching assistants are there to support uh, all students in any way. They're very approachable, and, uh, and I'm sure uh, once the students get to know them, they'll really appreciate the help that they can offer. Reading is a really important skill for all our students. Uh, it's the key, really, to doing well in GCSE exams. And so we want to make sure that we know the reading ability of, of all of our students, and, and that also helps our staff to plan their lessons. All students will do the STAR reading test in the first term, uh, and that will identify students that we need to have in for those needs. And we have a team of staff who can support those students and try and do what they can to boost their reading and help them be more confident in class. In years seven, eight, and nine, we have a group of students who we refer to as the nurture group. And these are students who perhaps need a little bit more attention, a little bit more looking after. Um, a little bit more care really and so it might be that they just have a weekly drop-in or um, some small group sessions where we work on building their confidence or social skills and, and just making them feel a sort of sense of belonging and try and help them navigate what can be quite a difficult world of education and school some more support for students who might have friendship issues or who possibly Bit more quiet time a safe place to go to is that we run a breakfast uh, club before school and we also have a break and a lunchtime club here in the etienne area where students can come 
and either snack or eat their lunch uh, quietly away from other students or make friends with new students. We've also had a friendship group going uh, with the support of Autism Outreach and that's really focused on students who perhaps have difficulty making and maintaining friends. Further support that we offer for students, we have peer support. So we have a Let's Talk program where older students can mentor or younger students who are perhaps having difficulties. Uh, the SEN department is going to be based in a new area next year and we're hoping to have a little bit more room and certainly in amongst that will be what we're going to call a well-being centre so students can come and uh, overcome their anxiety. We have two members of staff trained in health. Health is our emotional literacy support. So students again could be referred to that um, a weekly meeting with an author who will support them in whatever particular area really important that we work with outside agencies and so we have some regular visitors into school uh, obviously we work with the county hall services so the hearing impairment team visual impairment team autism outreach uh, they they're in fairly regularly to help us with students and give us advice we liaise with cams about students for diagnoses of particular things or whether it's already been diagnosed about the best way to support them uh, we have a dyslexia screener, so if we have any concerns about students perhaps being, perhaps being dyslexic, we can look into that. And again, we've taken advice in the past from an organisation called Dyslexia Lifeline. Um, and ADHD Solutions have supported parents and students with ADHD diagnoses. Um, we had whole school training led by Ian Holt and ADHD Solutions. So again, we want to make sure that we can cater for those students' needs and get the proper possible advice to help those students in the class. I hope you found it informative. Uh, I hope I've answered some of your questions. Uh, if not, then the email address on the screen, send at clcc.college is available, for, so feel free to drop me a line and hopefully I can answer any queries that you've got. Looking forward to meeting your sons and daughters and hoping they'll have a successful time here at Council Academy.